and here it is. Small, compact and designed for long, continuous, trouble-free operation with very small maintenance requirements. The weight of this unit is only 116 pounds and it has a continuous output of 60 brake horsepower. It uses no water and very little lubricating oil and can be operated on petrol, paraffin, diesel oil or any liquid distillate fuel which may be available. Alternatively, it can be run on gaseous fuels such as methane, coal gas or natural gases. It has been designed to ensure ease of assembly and the Rover 1S60 gas turbine engine has only a small number of working parts when compared with other prime movers of similar power output. To illustrate this, let us watch one through assembly. Here we see the compressor housing and being fitted in position is the angular contact location bearing for the front end of the compressor shaft. Here the compressor shaft to which the compressor rotor has already been assembled is inserted in the bearing. Now we see the rotor clearances being checked. Here the diffuser ring is being placed in position on the compressor housing and this is followed by the support plate. Now the heat shield which protects the bearing assembly and the diffuser from the effect of the products of and this is followed by the fixed nozzle ring assembly. And now the rear bearing support and sealing system is fitted. The cooling ring now being placed in position assists in the dissipation of heat and the hole is bolted to the support plate. Here we see the turbine rotor being fitted to the compressor shaft and it is secured by a single bolt fixing. A feature of this rotor is the integrally machined blades. Now we see the clearances of the rotor blades being checked. The volute now being placed in position directs the combustion gases to the fixed nozzle ring. Being fitted now is the main casing which carries the air from the compressor rotor to the combustion chamber. Following the seal which has just been placed in position we have the metallic bellows which permit the exhaust cone to expand without distorting. This is the burner now being fitted to the combustion chamber and the whole assembly is then fitted to the unit. Here we see the reduction gear train, the gear driven oil pump and the power takeoff pinion being fitted to the auxiliary plate. And this is the full flow oil filter being fitted again to the auxiliary plate which is then assembled to the compressor housing. And here we have a complete Rover 1S60 gas turbine engine. Here we see a section model which will clearly show the internal construction of this extremely versatile engine and you will appreciate the small number of working parts. All these are balanced during assembly and this ensures completely vibrationless operation. One of the great advantages here is that the spares problem is reduced to an absolute minimum. The small bulk and the lightweight of the 1S60 engine is admirably illustrated here.
And now we'll watch a demonstration of the Rover Sigmund firefighting pumping set. This has a total weight of only 215 pounds and is, as you see, completely portable. 